So it is now Monday. We honestly just skipped Sunday. We went to a party for my niece and I honestly just didn't record. So it was just a day off kinda but i did get this comment and i do want to answer it for today's video and i just got this comment 25 minutes ago hey do you have a list of your debts somewhere no need to put down the names i just really want to know what specific debt amounts and interest rates you have i actually have this video right here i have made a video about this but i realize that there's a lot of you guys that have just started watching and are wondering i've answered in the comment section but i guess let's just make a updated video especially since we've made a good amount of progress since then here i'm gonna put up right here how much i had in debt at that point compared to now as you can see we've improved it 1500 in the last month Month. In the last three months, we have improved it $2,585, but all time we are down. So let's see where we owe money. Right now, I do owe $169 to um, Amex because was it last week or the week before that? We spent the paycheck on the quicks on accident. <laughs> Not an accident, but obviously stupidly. We will be paying that next week for the final paycheck of the month. We also have $22.54 to Best Buy, to our Best Buy credit card. This one is no interest until August, at least part of it. At least the amount that I used to take out the laptop because I paid a little bit off and then obviously remodeled my room, then paid off a little bit. I think I paid off like five to 700. And now it's at $22.54, which I need about 600 more so it could go back to the no interest and then i'm not gonna pay it until july that's when i'll pay the the best buy card because obviously you got to take advantage of that no interest but schools first that is different this is a a loan that i took out back when i was in north carolina and i've been making a good amount of progress on this as you can see, the last payment decreased it by 36%, the one before that by 24%. The initial reason why I took this out was to invest into stocks, which that was a genius move I was doing. But then I moved to California and I had to sell because I wasn't working. I didn't have a job yet. I was like, fuck it, I'll use this to pay shit off because it's the, the only asset I have. But the dividends did make sense. I'm going to retry it, but with my actual money, not, not a loan. But I do want to show you guys how you can, I guess get some paychecks from dividends next one is t-mobile this is 490 dollars this one is no interest it's just taken out of my monthly phone bill so right now i'm paying about 200 dollars but once this is paid off i'll probably pay off 100 something which i still think is pretty high i'm probably i'm, I'm gonna try to lower that um, i just haven't gone to t-mobile i do need to try to fix my phone because the bluetooth is messed up uh, i just you know procrastinate going to those type of stores because like I don't like to waste my time going to those places bro. Next one is apartment debt. You see I lived with my cousin for a bit and we used the, the money that we were going to pay for rent to leave the apartment because then right afterwards I went to North Carolina and kind of just reset it. We were sent to collections for the last month's rent because we weren't able to afford it at that time. Um, I did sell my car that I had at that point, which was the best car I could have had. But the only problem was that it had no front window because they broke into it. So I also had to fix that. But when I sold it, I sold it without a window. And the reason is also because I had things to pay off from that month from not working as well. You see, I go through a lot of phases where I don't want to work for other people and I start working for myself, which I see now paying off, I guess. But at that time, obviously, you're not seeing the income come in and you're trying to find ways to make money. You're doing side hustles. I was doing shipped. I was doing Uber Eats. I was doing landscaping. I was doing um, pressure washing businesses, like <laughs> literally just our own type of stuff. And then like just getting opportunities to work at different places. Like I guess I've tried out different jobs and just different types of ways of making money. And you just got to understand there's so many ways of making money in this world. It's crazy. One of the ways I want to start making money is online because that is one of the easiest ways to get people to spend money and not even in a bad way i hope you guys support enough to be willing to buy stuff online because then you'll see where that money goes into you guys already see where my money goes into so that's what i'm excited for um with the reselling stuff with the clothing brand there's just so many things that i want to be open about especially making money on youtube i'm almost monetized so you know when i get that first paycheck from youtube you guys are going to be <laughs> the first one to know how much it is final thing that i owe 13 thousand to my mom so 
about 7,000 of that is because of the car, last car I had. <laughs> yes, the one I just talked about, the one that I sold. That was my daily driver to get to work when I worked at Dr. Squatch. And at that point, I was paying off my mom. But then even afterwards, I did have to ask for a little bit more money. Yeah, not gonna lie, I've gotten a lot of support. That's the only reason I'm still where I'm at because I, I always tell people I would be homeless if I did not have people that cared for me. <laughs> like, dead ass. That's so many stories I hear and shit. And it's just the, the truth, the reality but I'm happy that so many people believe in me especially my own family that you know I'm able to do the things that I'm do able to do take the risk that I'm able to take but also because of my girl like she's also been with me since I fucking you know take random ass risks but I always say they're gonna pay off because it's just a experience and learning lessons the rest of the money after the car because the car cost is seven bands keep in mind the reason that my mom had that money was because she sold the house that we lived in willing to to help because she had the extra like obviously my mom wasn't able to provide like now obviously she needs that money which is why i'm paying off like i've been busting my ass off because that's something i came to realization about and obviously i don't want my mom to be working every day in her of her life especially once she gets to like the 50s and 60s like that's the time you want them to enjoy because they've been working until that age and being able to sustain you but all of that in total is 18,475 honestly I don't think it's that bad I know the number is big and it's all <laughs> mostly going to my mom but once the first like once I pay off the the debt like the the interest debt there isn't really anything to stress about because then I'm able to give my mom like a monthly payment like a good amount like at least a thousand or fifteen hundred a month and then that'll slowly just pay itself off and then if I start making more I'll be able to put down more into that but obviously first things first interest so we're going for the schools first and I guess now the Amex honestly I don't know the percentage of my Amex I tried to figure it out but it, there's no way I could find it I've made every single payment for the past where is it this is why y'all gotta get rocket money this is how you keep track of your finances um rocket money sponsor me please <laughs> so as you can see my payment history everything's good the only reason these are red is because of the collection this is ever since I've been sent to collections may it's green because it hasn't been charged yet but but once I get charged with the collections, that'll be there. But the thing with the collections is that once it is completely paid off, it is off of the record and as if it never happened. So we're going to try to pay that off as soon as we pay off the loan, the Amex, the little bit that I owe to Amex, the little bit of interest to Best Buy, about five, 600 to Best Buy. And then after that, priority will be the collections. Then we'll go, I guess, to my T-Mobile so we can lower our bills. And then my mom after that i guess once i pay everything off and i'm just paying my mom off like when my mom's the only priority of paying off i will still be putting a little bit to the side for for investments and you know business but i'm still going to be doing that while i'm paying everything off but you know obviously i do want to double down on my own things which will also be bringing me money which will help me pay off my mom faster right now we got 542 dollars in assets i think that's going to be brought down because of today i know it says an account requires attention that's the best buy one i haven't really touched it in some Types that you just gotta log back in um right now our net worth is at negative 17,933 i believe it is about to go back up to negative 18,000 but we're in the 17,000 area so we're improving slowly but surely brother we are getting there <laughs> yeah i hope that answers your guys's questions i feel like we've we have made good progress our net worth has improved 1,782 dollars in the past month and 1,820 in the past three months so in the past three months we're not doing that well but in the past month we've been doing good so if we keep up what we've been doing the past month in the next three months we, we're straight that's just what we gotta do obviously the past three months we haven't been doing the right things but we, we've been going down the right path i'm happy i've been this consistent it's honestly shocked me <laughs> but at this point there's no stopping like we can't stop i hope that answers your guys's questions let me know down in the comments below if you guys got any other questions make sure you cop hit that subscribe button so you guys can see Strictly business. Oh my god, we're just getting started. It's crazy. I'll catch y'all in the next video. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.